a color thing that is the basis of racism. It's just like the whole Black Lives Matter thing. Yeah. Like, I'm on the fence for Black Lives Matter. Because the Black Lives Matter thing, I agree with it under the circumstances that all of the kids that were being killed by Caucasian cops were black people, were black kids. That's just a fact. Well, I'm, I'm interested to hear your critique because I have a critique too. On the Black Lives Matter thing? Yeah. This is my critique on Black Lives Matter. I'm on the fence because I do believe Black Lives Matter. I believe lives matter, period. The reason why I say I'm on the fence with it is because Black Lives Matter is very true. This is, it's not saying that nobody else lives, no, no other lives matter. It just means our lives matter also. What's wrong with it? We're not saying it matters more. We're not saying it matters less. We're not saying we're the best that should matter. We're just saying we matter. And there's a problem. And so the reason why I agree with it, the reason why I'm on the fence with it is because black lives do matter. And when you're looking at, it, it, it's crazy, right? When that bombing happened in Paris, right? Yeah. It was this big thing, put the, par put the, 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 the Paris symbol. The, put the French, or the, the Paris yeah. flag over your Facebook, pray for Paris, pray, because of the, the terrorism thing. Everybody the did solidarity. It. Let's when the thing happened with the with the gay rights movement, which I'm, I'm I put the, the 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 gay rights flag over my thing because I'm pro happy. You know I don't judge people by their race uh, orientation or sexual orientation because I'm pro happy. If you're happy, that's what I like to see. I have friends that are gay. You know what I mean I have a very good friend of mine, very close to me, who came out of the closet and he was only comfortable coming out of the closet to me because we were close. And he was scared to come out of the closet, he said, because I just don't know how people are going to accept me. I told him, I said, look, if anybody fuck with you, you tell them to come to me. Yeah, you're not a good dude to... I'll go beat... I, listen, you're... forget registered hands. If somebody... You my, you my brother. Feel what I'm saying? Like, I love you. I don't care what your sexual orientation is. If somebody messes with you or says anything to you, you've been my friend since we was eight years old. So if somebody comes against you, call me. I'll show you what I can do with them. I'm pro-happy. I'm not against anything. But everything else, you get what I'm saying? Every other problem, the whole... Well, I'll the, give you my, my take. I just wish Black Lives Matter would focus on legislation that could change stuff. Right. Like, so stand your ground. Let's attack a law that has some implication that could have young black men get shot because someone's going to say, oh, I feel threatened. I'm going to stand my ground and shoot you. And my frustration with Black Lives Matter is it seems like a lot of people want to protest, but there's no focus on like legislation or passing things that could actually change. And history. that's where it needs to start. And that's that's my critique of the movement is it feels like people are trying to bypass things that I feel like can actually make lasting change. And they're just trying to go to the streets and the way that they're doing it offers a critique for people from the other side to be able to. Um, to point at their negatives like when you protest obviously there's going to be um, negatives that occur and it's going to bring that to the forefront well the reason I'm on the fence with Black Lives Matter is because I do I'm black and I know what it's like to step into an elevator or a store and have a Caucasian lady clinch her purse like lady I probably make more money than you you don't got to clinch it what am I still your purse for you feel what I'm saying I know what it's like to have to go to a job interview and show up and they find out that I'm black because I'll put other because I am mixed so I'll put other I won't even put my, all of my races now I'll just put a, other then I show up and they find out I'm black and it's like oh wait a minute he didn't tell us he was African American they have like a little huddle you feel what I'm saying and yeah. then it's like well you know what I'm saying so I know that racism exists so this is why I'm okay with but the reason why I'm not okay with Black Lives Matter is because it wasn't made up by black people no, I hear what you're saying. It wasn't given. It black, black, black people clinged on to that. That was given to us by a person who's not of African descent or not of black descent, and it was given to us almost as a crutch to be more against us. It's almost like you need protection. Here's a gun. Yo, he got a gun. He's dangerous. Well, that, I I kind of get what you're that's saying how, with your that, critique because that's kind of like I'm not saying the same thing, but I kind of get your perspective with right. that where it's like 
it's an important movement, but it's also kind of running in a circle. Exactly. It's like, like I said, because the person that, that created that movement, it was almost like a reverse psychology thing. Like I said, it's like, hey, you need protection. I think you need protection. You need a gun. Here's a gun. Protect yourself. Oh, he's got a gun. Didn't tell everybody else, yo, he dangerous. He got a gun. Now everybody's looking at you like, yo, nah. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just saying my life matters. That's all I'm saying. They're like, nah, 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 you dangerous. So that's why I don't agree with it because it was given to black people on a level to be able to almost use reverse psychology to be more against black people. And people don't know that. They don't know the backstory about that. So that's why I'm on the fence with it because I think if it's used right, if it's used right, it's good. You can take a knife, the sharpest knife. If you're using that knife to cut meat, that's not you're good. good. Well, I don't know if that's good. Well, if you're using that knife to cut up chicken and vegetables yeah, around the house, good. that's good. But if you're using that knife to go kill people, that's then, really bad. So it's bad. So the knife isn't bad. The action is bad. You feel what I'm saying? So the movement of being, of saying my life matters isn't bad. Is how you do it. Now, I don't agree with the protesting and the bashing out windows and and the marching and the. Cr I don't agree with that because number one, we need like we need something new. That was done in the '60s. We need something new. Number two, it does nothing but raise more hell and give you more reason. It gives them more reason, a reasonable cause to say this is why. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it just it makes us look like what they call us. Yeah, it's 